Can my mom <laughs> allow her boyfriend to live in her house after she passes, even though it's now in my name? My mom okay. is going to put her house legally into my name in her will after she passes away. She wants her boyfriend to be able to live in the house until he passes as well. I don't get along with her boyfriend, and he drinks and does drugs. Will I be able to kick him out, even if she puts a clause in her will stating her wish that he can live there? I don't know. Her boyfriend sounds rad. Yeah, sounds like a great <laughs> dude. Mom can pick him. <laughs> so the answer is yes. Cool. The answer well, is yes. Potentially. Really, depending on how she did it. So the wrong way to do it would be I give my house to my child and then telling child outside of the will, you got to let him live here till he dies. Then it's all yours. <laughs> I would. Yeah. That's the wrong way to do okay, it. Okay, I, gotcha. I concur. The right way to do it, if mom really wants this to happen, is you give what's called a life estate in the house to the boyfriend and essentially what that means is the house is the boyfriend's until he dies and then it is the child so the other option would be to to give it to a trust to have it held in trust managed by the child for the benefit of the boyfriend a trust for the boyfriend's is... life just because you don't like your step parent or your step sibling or whatever it does not change the fact that you know the, the the parent that you have that that wants to do this for this person they can do that and and there's often a lot not a lot yes. you can do about it, and it's something you just need to kind of prepare yourself for. Okay. We've gotten stories from clients that paint people as monsters. Yeah, and then they're not. And then way. and they're not monsters, right? And sometimes yeah. they are. Don't get me wrong. People, yeah, but, in conflict, people, yeah, amp each other up. So that's why it's that's good true. to set things down ahead of time <laughs> and make sure people know what it is. Main takeaway. Make an estate plan and try to avoid awful nightmare situations like this. A trust would have avoided most of these stories we talked about today. Right. Mm -hmm. And at least like it wouldn't be put on to these two people to like fight and sort over this. And not in like, public. Yeah. Right. And and part of it too is, you know, make the plan. Make sure people know your plan. Right. So that way they can grapple with the emotions of it now. With you. Instead of trying to fight you, it with the court. Yeah. Instead of and instead of dealing with it after you've died and they're trying to deal with everything at once. Just right. figure out what you want to do. Get it Tell on the them. table now. Talk about it with your loved ones. Have the awkward phone call Zoom yep. beating and let's get it done with. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, let us know. Post a comment and give us a like. Guys, if you would like to create an estate plan, you should check out our ebook that we released. It's a free ebook. It's about the mistakes that we see when people create estate plans. It's the three biggest mistakes that we see uh, when thinking about estate planning. Go check out that ebook. It's really, really valuable. There's a bunch of good information in there. Go download it. First link in the description. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.